Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your chef from Cruise Cooking Not In with Blueberry Muffins For the ingredients, measurement and the cooking instructions Please look at the description below my friends This is 100 grams of Amul Butter This butter is naturally salted So I'll call this Salted Butter we need to melt this. Uh, so we will microwave this for 30 seconds. So once it's done, it looks something like this. Ooh, I can't show it to you here. <laughs> So let's go back and check how it looks. All right. So here is the butter once it is melted. It is still warm. So this will be adding 200 grams of granulated or powdered sugar. And using a wired whisk, we'll mix it up until the sugar incorporates well into this hot, salty Amul butter. So to 100 grams of amul butter, we added 200 grams of sugar. Once it is incorporated, we'll be cracking in open two eggs. But we won't add both the eggs at once because it will not be able to digest both of them at once. So add one egg, whisk thoroughly. And once the egg incorporates well into this mixture, we'll add the second egg. So come, let's uh, follow up with the second egg. Whisk and also incorporate this well into this mixture. Once it is done, we'll be dropping in 8 to 10 drops of vanilla essence for aroma. We'll add 2 tablespoons of fresh amul cream. If you don't have this, you can also use malai or sour cream. Sour cream is nothing but malai. We'll follow with 100 grams or I'm sorry, 100 milliliters of milk. We won't add all the milk at once. So whisk it nicely to create your wet mixture. And like I said, we won't be adding all the milk at once. I just added 100 milliliters. In the future, if I need more, I've kept some aside for later use. The milk was cold. You can also use milk at room temperature. Now for the dry mixture, I've taken 250 grams of maida or all-purpose flour. To this, we'll be adding in one teaspoon of baking powder. So friends, I've seen some chefs, I've observed, they add baking powder and baking soda. All that drama is really not required. You just need to add one teaspoon of baking powder and that's enough. Because baking powder already contains baking soda. It's as simple as that. So use a wired whisk and spread across the baking powder by engulfing it totally into this nice mixture into the maida. And once you have done that, We'll get in the important ingredient of this recipe, blueberries. These are dried blueberries. I'm using Del Monte Foods blueberries. And if you have fresh blueberries, you can definitely use those as well. Now to these blueberries, we'll be adding a little amount of the dry flour and sift it nicely by coating it. The reason we are doing this is because if you don't do this, when you put the oven, I mean, I'm sorry, when you put the muffins into the oven, the blueberries will sink to the bottom like Titanic and you don't want that. So that is why we have done this. This way your blueberries will float to the top and spread evenly. We'll add the dry mixture now to the wet mixture 
but don't add all the dry mixture only add half of it and then you'll be sifting it nicely and churning it with your spatula but I'll tell you a tip which is important for you to remember when you are swirling it do not swirl it vigorously or too hard or too much if you do that then gluten will be created which will make your muffins hard so once you have swirled it a little bit then you add the blueberries and then you add the rest of your dry mixture remember we had saved half of the dry mixture so here goes in the rest half so mix it up nicely now but once again do not stir it vigorously if you do that your gluten in this will be released and that will make your muffins hard you want them to be soft and gooey at the center don't you so once this is done i find it it is a little hard and stiff i wanted this to be a little less viscous so what will i do now i'll add a little bit of milk remember we had added only 100 milliliters of milk in the beginning so i just added a little bit because i want the consistency to be slightly less thicker than this i want it to be something which looks like this so it should be a little soft gooey mushy mushy and now we've taken molds these are muffin molds and i can create 12 muffins easily out of this batter but i'll be creating six first so we'll place some paper cups for muffins here and then we'll feed them with our ladle or spoon from the batter that we have just prepared i usually use ice cream scoops because using ice cream scoops i can fill up these cups equally everywhere but anyway not everybody has got ice cream scoops so i'm showing you the way that you do with a spoon now the amount of muffin batter you need to fill up here is three-fourth the size of the cup three-fourth remember so guys uh, we need to preheat the oven before we add the muffins to the oven so for that we'll be choosing convection setting the moment you press convection it will give you a temperature reading of 180 degrees centigrade and then you just have to click on start you hit start and how do you know when your oven has got preheated you will hear a beep sound from your oven which tells you that your oven has now been preheated so you wait for that beep sound let's wait for it So do you hear the beep sound now? It's time for you to add the tray into the oven. It's not very hot right now. The oven is at a normal temperature, which is above the normal. But still, wear your gloves. So now, Keeping the temperature at 180 degrees centigrade at a convection setting, we will bake for 25 minutes. So choose convection, set the time to 25 minutes. So friends, it's time and uh, time for us to get the muffins out of the oven and I want to introduce you to you my new friend yay <laughs> this is my new pup his name is Romeo and Romeo because he was born on the 14th of Feb he's now two months old and I'm pretty excited about him come let's get the muffin tray but before you do that make sure you wear your gloves All right. <clears throat> nice and calm here are your muffins. Oh yes. So come, let's extract them. So here are those amazing muffins fresh from the oven. And to test if they have cooked first, I'll swirl them around and rotate them to see if they are sticking or not. They're not sticking to the walls. Good. The second test is we'll take a toothpick or a skewer stick and insert it at the center of these mushroom looking amazing fluffy muffins 
insert it to the bottom to the center and comes up to be clean without any wetness you know the muffins have been created successfully if it comes out to be wet place this back into the oven and cook it i'm sorry bake it again for some time so friends this is how you make blueberry muffins but come let me show you another thing which is important they should be crunchy from the top little bit crisp not too much and from the internally they should be soft and gooey and see the sides it is leaving so easily so comfortably it's cooked well from evenly everywhere and do you see those uh, blueberries they are ah uh, spread at the top at the bottom everywhere remember the tip that i gave you and look how gooey and soft this looks from the center oh man the aroma itself is so wonderful let's do it. awesome so a delicious mm. Mm. ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching blueberry muffins this is eliana and we are pleased to announce an amazon gift voucher every month which can be won by one of you one lucky subscriber of guru's cooking gets to win this on random selection every month an amazon gift voucher worth rupees 10000 so if you haven't subscribed now what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button below and subscribe if you like this video my friends please hit the like button and do share this with your friends thank you so much with much love take care